When Mia Fitzharris and her husband from Long Island, New York, got an incredible deal on this gut renovation, they knew going in it had problems. But even still, they were in for an unwelcome surprise. You're probably looking at somewhere in the $200,000 to $225,000 range wow. to repair all the damage that we have in okay. this house. It's a much bigger job than we were expecting to do, so I'm a little scared. So what we originally thought was going to be a gut renovation is now going to be a complete teardown, start from scratch. We sat down with Jonathan and Drew Scott, who transform extreme fixer-uppers on their HGTV show Property Brothers, and they're going to fill us in on the essential checklist every home buyer ought to know to avoid buying a lemon. Jonathan, Drew, thanks for being with us. So let's start with why a homeowner or a potential homeowner needs to be diligent about the properties that they're looking at. Don't they hire a home inspector to do that anyway? Your home inspector, they would come on typically after you have an accepted offer, so save yourself some time. You don't want to fall in love with the house and then all of a sudden find out all these issues. And plus, a home inspector is not going to do things like open up the walls. Walk around yourself. Make sure you're pulling back rugs, moving furniture. Because think about it as a seller. If you see in your living room there's a spot on the wall that looks really bad, naturally you would slide some furniture in front of that. Well, I, you and I, I would not do that. <laughs> I would never we would that. never we do would. that. But let's go through the checklist. Let's move that furniture out of the way. What is the first thing people need to look for? Well, mold is a big thing that we always tell people. You know, you can smell it possibly in a basement. You have that musty smell. This is all toxic mold that we're looking at across the ceilings here. We can actually see all the water and the water marks that are on the wall. So this basement is a chronically flooding basement. But a lot of people think mold is just caused by a leak, but it's not just water leaks. If you don't have proper airflow, that can create mold. Next, the Property Brothers advise looking for evidence of pests. These can cause tens of thousands of dollars in damages. We can see that your shed has extensive uh, termite damage to it. And we can see by all the channeling that you have here in the uh, fascia boards. And number three, look for outdated fixtures and wiring, as these could cause electrical problems or even fire hazards. Anything you look at that, that doesn't look quite right. Like if you see a cable just coming out of the drywall and they've just mudded around it, that's not right. You have an uh, old two-prong outlet without ground. What about any cosmetic things that become issues or are very annoying and can be a headache? I find one thing that it, it just frustrates me, it's a pet peeve of mine, is when you go into a home and you see people just painting over uh, old wallpaper. Could have maybe taken a day to remove, now it's going to take you a couple of days to remove. And then what about any other issues outside, anything with landscaping, gardening, drainage? Drainage is a big thing, so you want to test all the appliances in the house, like flushing toilets, draining sinks, because if for some reason you're having a slow draining sink, that could mean that the line has collapsed in the yard. You could have a home that has all this beautiful landscaping and we see it all the time. People do a DIY job but then they don't have the, the drainage moving away from the house. The patio itself is actually back pitched and sloped towards the house itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What this is going to do is this is going to cause water to a pond and run towards the foundation itself. The biggest thing we want people to know is that they have to realize what tasks are within their capability and what's outside of their capability. We're educating people on exactly that. Drew, Jonathan, thank you so much. They're the Property Brothers, and we want to hear from you. Connect with us on Twitter, at Yahoo Finance, using the hashtag Destination Home. For Yahoo Finance, I'm Lauren Lister.